back to work. Go on. So this is the 11th pass of gloss that I've sanded down and you can see it's got some nice shine to it but when you get in real close it kind of looks like there's you know just must and age and there's gloss under there that's trying to come through rather than a mat that's under there that's trying to have a gloss go down. So yeah best shows in the reflections there the current state of it so it's really getting a hard finish to it which I'm very happy about 11th pass I've got four more cans and then that's finally it R2LA is this coming weekend so uh, I want to have this dried and set cured for at least 72 hours so it's Sunday right now that gives me one pass per day so 12 today, 13 tomorrow, 14 on Tuesday, and then 15 on Wednesday. And that will be the last gloss pass that I do on this guy at all. Oops. And I haven't done any video of this body at all, so let me get the dome out of the way. So yeah, I don't think I've done any video of this body yet. The bearing is just kind of sitting on there loose right now to uh, get it in place and all set. A few days ago it was kind of binding up, so I took it all apart, cleaned all the bearings, cleaned out the tracks, and instead of using a spray white lithium grease, I went for the goopy stuff and spread it all along the inside tracks. And do I need more bearings in here? It's possible. Like there's a really big gap right in there that could probably use maybe even 10 of them. And of course that closes up and I'm thinking this bearing is not exactly truly round because as you can see it gaps open, closes down, gaps open again. So I'm thinking the inside is actually slightly slightly footballed. However that is not stopping it from getting a clean and relatively smooth spin. And it doesn't have to be super infinite spinning kind of situation. I suppose if it were, that would be less pressure on the motors that will eventually be installed. However, by the time I do that, I think uh, I may either have a new bearing or it'll be a different situation at that point. The body is a pair of pine rounds from Home Depot, 18 inch, nice and coincidental. I've got some 2x4 pieces of riser in there. Then on the bottom I've got these 6 inch bolts with uh, 6 inch springs on them. This little piece of wood here is just a bit of uh, a stirring stick. I cut a bunch off to uh, just to be a little bit of a padding. And then these wing nuts will control the amount of bounce that the body has when it's on the road. I'd like to have it a little jiggle when I'm going over potholes to make it look like he's bouncing around and having some fun. Uh, this bit of black here is a bit of C-channel. Normally this is used on computer case mods when uh, people open up their case and you know, put a piece of plexiglass along the side. And that is typically used to ring it. And what I'm about to do now is uh, pull the bearing off, take these screws out, lay the bearing on Apple's inner ring, trace out where those holes go, drill them through, and then I can attach the dome at least and see how this looks. So uh, let me get a little busy and we'll see where we're at. What I've got here now is a plenitude of gaffer's tape to hold the bearing in place. I had hoped that I could kind of just stick a pen or a marker through these holes and drill separately, but it looks like I'm going to have to do the drilling live. Uh, one trick I've read one guy does over on the Astromech forum is to drill one hole, put the screw through that, and then that will essentially lock everything into place. In this case, the uh, bolts that I'm using are a little thinner than this drill bit, and I don't have any other chucks for this ancient old Dremel Moto Tool, Model 280. So this is the only bit I can use with this Dremel. So, uh... I'm going this route and yeah let me get back to you in a second and using that self same bit there 
it was easy enough to just drill it a little wider than I needed. So these all have a good fit. That's the tightest one right there. So yeah, nice. What I'm realizing now is that this is so uneven that this could throw the balance off, but I guess that's what uh, that's why you have all these screws so you can retweak and rebalance to make everything nice and straight. We've got a few minutes of battery here. Let's see how much of this I can actually get on tape. So one of the problems that Obishan has had with the droid on the back of his car is that it's not locked down and anyone can walk away with it that wants to. Uh, so that's definitely a problem that I don't want happening with me. My original idea was to drill a little bit of a hole through the top center there, put an eye hook in here, attach that to some cable which would then run into my trunk and essentially just dangle there on a big lock that would have to be undone to take this off. My uh, buddy Pirello23 on the Astromech forum suggested that I simply bolt this down from the inside and essentially the way that would work I can't quite do it now because I need more washers for spacing is that I would reach through the bottom of this guy and then bolt through here to the top then install this into my car and bolt this down to the bottom and I guess that might be the way it goes because then I don't have to worry about drilling a hole through the top of this guy as much as I'd like to I do need a couple more washers. I may have some on hand. I'm really short on washers though. But let's bolt this into place and see how it looks. So actually I'm just seeing a problem right now. And that is that the bearing is so tight on the inside of the dome here that it won't spin. <laughs> So I'm actually going to have to sand out a lot of this surface area to get some room. And probably put washers in between this lip and here to lift that off. Right now I'm thinking don't need to, but I guess I will have to. I suppose installing all these bolts right now is going to be a bit of a futile exercise because I'm going to have to remove them all. So yeah, this is set fast against the dome. It's hitting here, hitting here, hitting there, probably in a few places. And I can see that a lot of these screws, like it's really tight against the ring there, but way over on this side, it's really loose. So that's going to need some custom finagling to make it work out. But since we're this far, let's take a look. just be able to reach these bolts it looks like just barely I'm definitely not going to be able to get any purchase on them to get them really tight so here he is apples with the first test fitting of his body and definitely some little tweaking to do. That's okay, I got a few days. Like I mentioned, I've got all this gloss to do here. There, that shows it off a lot better. So it's probably about 50% gloss at this point and 50% matte. So it's just a matter of building this up and building this up until when I glot, when I sand, none of this happens anymore. I might even switch up. I've been working with 500. I've got some 1200. I may just step up to that from here on for the rest of it. So I think that's it for this update. Thanks for watching. See you.